it's time for the final season. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are diving into Legend of Korra, book four. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into the last season for The Legend of Korra, the end of season three. The finale for that book really got me. It was definitely more dark and emotional. I felt like people's lives were finally like really at stake. The stakes felt a lot higher. People's lives were on the line in a way that I feel like we haven't seen as much in the previous seasons. I was really concerned for pretty much every character and we left off the show in a state where Korra's really in a dark, place. I've been saying for a while now that I feel like a lot of things have kind of come really naturally to Cora. She's very naturally gifted, naturally talented, especially with when it comes to bending and how I've kind of been wanting to see more of a struggle from her, wanting to see her go through a dark night of the soul moment. And I feel like I'm finally about to get my wish granted. So I'm really excited about that. Cora is a very determined and headstrong character. She's very prideful in a way where she constantly constantly feels like she has to perform at this level that is like perfect because she's the avatar. I do feel like she has a lot of expectations placed on her by other people because of her position, but also expectations that she puts on herself. And we really saw her needing a lot of help from other people in the end of season three. She absolutely would not have survived season three if it weren't for the entire airbending nation, which is really sweet when you think about it because she invested so much time in rescuing a lot of those airbending from Ba Sing Se, in giving herself up to Zaheer to protect the Air Nation, even though it was a trap ultimately. She really did care a lot about them, and so for them to be her ultimate saving grace was really beautiful. The music also in that sequence when the airbenders are saving her and sucking everybody down into the wind tornado was just so beautiful. That song in particular just really got me. And now we've left off where she's paralyzed and can't presumably bend at all. She looked like she had the life completely drained out of her. Like she was just in this really dark position and is feeling pretty conflicted because I don't think she really likes being doted on or being taken care of. She really wants to feel capable and to feel like she doesn't need help from anyone and can take care of everybody else. And instead she's in the exact opposite position where not only did she need help being saved, but now she can't even get around by herself. And although she loves all of Tenzin's kids, I do think that was hard for her to see that ceremony for Janora. Somebody mentioned this in a comment that, and I think this is a really interesting comment and maybe this will be revealed more in this season, but I saw somebody mention over on my Patreon page that Janora even looks more like Aang now, and not only is she related to Aang, but she looks like him and she's earned her master tattoos. And that might be really hard for Korra to even see that because she feels like she's always been in Aang's shadow. That was a really interesting perspective that I hadn't necessarily considered at the end of the season finale. I was kind of thinking she probably is heartbroken that she can't take care of herself, but I thought the tears also might be a happy tear for Janora because she did smile when Tenzin's kids came and sat on her lap. And I think the kids were like the one thing giving her the motivation to move forward. But that is also a really interesting perspective that maybe there's a part of her that's also devastated and jealous. And I like that. I like that uncertainty that was displayed at the end of the season. I, I think characters are more interesting when they're messy and when they have like a lot of tough growth to go through. I don't really like it when a character is just like perfect and things are just easy for them. And Cora hasn't been perfect emotionally by any means. She's <laughs> she's had a lot of emotional growth that she's had to go through in the last three seasons. But when it came to her bending and her talent, it was just like effortless for her. And I, I like seeing her physically in this vulnerable state. And I'm really excited to see what her progression is like as a character in this season. I'm also just excited to see Janora's progression as a character too because she's just such a little baddie. She's awesome. I'm actually really surprised that she shaved her head. I guess it makes sense if she wants to display her master tattoos or even get her master tattoos, like that's part of the process. But I wonder if she'll let her hair grow back out or if she wants to stay bald. Not like it matters. I mean, we, we showed how important it is to be bald for an airbender so you can feel absolutely everything around you. But I don't know, I would have a hard time giving up my hair to be an airbender. <laughs> my forehead's too big for that. <laughs> 
Anyway, that's all I really have for this intro. I'm just really enjoying this show so far and excited to see what this final book is like. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into The Legend of Korra. Welcome to Republic City, the place of hopes, dreams, and spirit we wilds. Back in Republic City. It actually kind of looks better like that, with the spirits taking over the city. Or take a stroll through beautiful Avatar Korra Park, named in honor of you know who. We've missed her these past oh. three years, and we can't wait to welcome her home. We've missed her. Where has she been? Three years she's been out of commission. Wow. She's been out of commission for three years with Ba Sing Se in ruins and revolutions on the uprise, like uprisings happening. And of course, my biggest thanks goes Asami. to- Asami! Oh my God. Wow, three years and they've just become full-blown adult looking. Prince Wu, I assure you, Kuvira has the Earth Kingdom pretty much stabilized at this point. Oh, good job, Kuvira. Uh, define pretty much. He doesn't want to go. The chances of you being assassinated are almost zero. Almost. Almost? Listen, they're almost zero always. You could always be a risk of assassination as a leader. Get out of here. We don't have anything left. Oh. What the heck? Now you don't have anything left. It's horrible. Is that Kuvira? Oh! <gasps> Opal and Kai. Oh, look at them wearing little wingsuits. Wow! They blocked all the roads, cut off our supply lines, and all he sent is you two kids. They're pretty good. There are hundreds more where they came from. Oh, hundreds more? Our entire state is on the brink of collapse. Another war is gonna break out, dude. This is crazy. We're all you have. Yeah, cause, oh God, cause Korra's been out of commission for three years. This is, and only the Air Nation has been able to help. They've been work, putting in the work for three years. Two more Earth Kingdom states have agreed to join us. Excellent. Thank you, Bolin. What is, Bo is Bolin in the army? He's working with the Earthbenders? That's great! <laughs> Julie, dish out some of that special celebration tea. We only have this guy around because of the money. We just need his money and his trains. I won't celebrate until the Earth Kingdom is 100% reunited. Ooh, she hardcore. Ah! <laughs> Everybody else is so flustered. She just moved a little bit. There are rocks on the track. Oh, it's a trap. I will take care of the bandits myself. Oh, okay. Get it, girl. I'm glad we get to see more of her. She loves a chance to let off some steam, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they are like magnets. Oh, she's using them like magnets. That's great. <laughs> yeah, you all thought, huh? Say like Red Dead, okay? You can't just rob a train. Right now, you're lost. But pledge your loyalty to me. To her. I'll give you a new purpose in your lives. Interesting. We pledge our loyalty to you, great uniter. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Kuvira, um, excuse me, queen. Um, badass you are. Um, however, <laughs> are you trying to be a dictator, ma'am? I'm a little concerned. Hey, what's your boyfriend doing here? If he's here, he must be with Kuvira and my brother. This isn't going to be good. Why is it not going to be good? Because is she worried about Kuvira? What's up with your new hair? You look like a stiff. Hey, Kuvira says it makes me look intelligent and professional. Don't believe everything she says. Aww. Look who it is. Oh, that's her brother? It's good to see you again, little sister. He looks nothing like what I remember at all. My God, some of the people look so different after three years. Like you care. She still hasn't forgiven you. Forgiven. You know, for someone who claims to be so enlightened, mom can really hold a grudge. I guess when her son betrays her, please. Forgiven her for what? You about something that happened three years what ago. What happened three years ago? I've heard how you help towns. By conquering them. Is her mom mad about Kuvira's tactics and what she's doing? But I am giving everyone in this nation a better future. And with Bolin's help and my fiance's ideas... They're engaged! Your fiance? Oh! You haven't heard? Your brother and I are getting married. Oh! I'm sure mom will be happy about that! Agree to the terms and you'll have the full force of my army backing you. You will remain in charge. 
just under my supervision. Ah, uh, she's taken over. I know how you manipulate states and force them to join up under you. Mm -hmm. I know the only reason you want this region is because it's rich in ore. Ooh. I'll never turn the great state of Yai over to you. Oh, I'm worried that she's just going to threaten you. And your pride certainly will not feed your hungry when all that is left is rubble. Leave. Get out of my state. Oh, you will perish unless you take my generous offer. Oh my god, I like this guy. I like that he's Oh, I think he gave in, huh? It's time to go. Oh no. We're not wanted. He didn't He didn't give in. Good job. Here's the contract. We'll wait at the border for one day. You get the governor to sign it, and you'll have all the help you need. Hmm. It's a pretty shit contract, though. Sorry we couldn't give you more. That's all we could spare. Yeah, everyone's gonna be in rough shape. Or, like, they might be told not to give supplies to this town because they're working with Kuvira. Like, that, I could imagine y the town of Yai getting cut off. You and Bolin doing okay? <laughs> I don't know. But it does seem like you found his calling, doesn't it? He loves helping people. Maybe. It's just, he's changed a lot since he's been around her. Oh. You mean just the hairstyle, or? I mean, I haven't seen how else he's changed. How are you and Janora doing? Actually, we're doing fine. Oh, they're an, are they official? I'm in Janora official? Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh no. No! Oh no, all the supplies, we're gonna lose it all. No! Damn, they just lost all the supplies like that. That's awful. We were attacked in midair. We lost everything. It might be time to make a tough call. Oh no. That's horrible. Oh, and he's a good leader, so he's gonna say yes, even though it goes against everything he stands for. It's tough. Did I ever really have a choice? No. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh my God, this, there's so much like political unrest and turmoil already in this season. It's so interesting. The state of Yai is now under the full protection of my army. Proclaim your loyalty if you wish to keep your post. Oh. I pledge my loyalty to you, great uniter. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who resent her. Oh, he just... She's heartbroken because she doesn't like what Kuvira is doing and she's disappointed in Bolin. But Bolin's just kind of like, Bolin's just like a naive go with the flow kind of guy. I don't know. I think he just needs to be educated. <laughs> He's a sweetie. Isn't Cora already here? No, we thought she was coming with you. Cora left the South Pole six months ago. She said she was here in Republic City. What? I assure you, your daughter's not here. Then where is she? Are we going to see her? Is this her? Oh my god. What is she doing? What's going on? What is this? She looks like she's having a tough time. Um. We have a winner! It's like gladiator fights. Is she like training? Yeah, you, you kind of look like that avatar girl. I get that a lot. Oh my god. Whatever happened to her anyway? I wouldn't know. Oh. Oh, sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy even though she's in such a position. I feel bad for her, but I like this. I like this, man. She's got a place to crawl back out of. This is interesting. Oh, man. Whoa. What a cool way to start like an open on her, like how she's feeling fractured, you know? That's pretty cool. Oh my god. She's having like nightmares. What the f It's the avatar version of herself. She's fighting herself? Leave me alone! Oh, babe. Can I take you to a doctor? No, I don't need any help. I'm surprised no one's like pieced together who she is. You know, it, it only takes one person to see that she was earthbending and then firebending later. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but I can't wait for you to leave. Oh, there's a flashback. Are you sure you don't want some company in the Southern Water Tribe? Oh, Asami. So sweet. I'll only be gone a couple of weeks. Oh no, she was gone for a while. It's not a couple of weeks. Honey, 
Your father and I have tried to give you as much space as you've needed, Aww. but we're worried. You're not sleeping, you're barely eating. Aww, she depressed. Will you please go see Katara? All right, I'll go. You're going to get through this. Oh, I love you so much. It's gotta suck, cause not only is she dealing with like the pain of everything she's been through and the healing, but it's also like the guilt of needing help, you know? I'm getting emotional. <laughs> You'll recover stronger than ever. True, she would be stronger than ever. Then try something for me. Concentrate on your big toe. What, is this like a Kill Bill situation? <laughs> oh! Did you see that? It worked! Aww. Thank God for Katara helping her. Oh, she's gonna have a flashback. It's gonna get in her way. Use your mind to overcome the pain. Try again. I'm done for today. That's not good to give up on a failure, though. Hey, Cora. So, I'm not very good at writing letters. <laughs> it's 2.15 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's the most cop. But enough joking around. Oh my god. Oh, okay, he was joking. I thought it was a cop-style letter of just, like, facts. Uh, ob observations. Look at all the letters! I bet most of it's Bar Bolin, huh? To convalesce in the homeland of your tribesmen. Oh my god. I set off on the morrow with some On the morrow. But I am eager to offer any aid I can in stabilizing the Earth Kingdom. And you can tell she feels depressed that she's not out there in a state where she can do it. And I know you're frustrated, but- Of course I'm frustrated! A crazy man poisoned me, and now I can't dress myself, or cook for myself, or, or do anything for myself. And this whole time, my friends have been off helping the world while I'm stuck with you, and you can't even heal me! That came out wrong. It's all right. <laughs> Anger and frustration flow like I love water. how is like, it's fine. It's part of the healing process. Not, not taking it personally. Can you imagine how much pain Aang felt when he learned that his entire culture was taken from him? He was, well, he was just frozen in ice, not being able to help. Yeah. He never let it destroy his spirit. He chose to find meaning in his suffering. I mean, he, there was a time where it kind of destroyed his spirit a little bit, but he, he built back stronger. Take that first step. Nice! Naga! I'm gonna cry, man. That's It's not fair to do that to me with that music. So yeah, she's come a long way since then, but it's just a really slow healing process for her. But it makes sense. She almost died. No way. Oh God, she's having a nightmare again. <laughs> Wait, she sees it too? You can see her too? What? Oh, so she's not just completely imagining things. Well, yeah, that's good that the dog can see her too. Oh, keep the dog with you. That's great. How'd you do that? Oh my God, this puppy's magical. You want me to follow you? This is a buzzy little puppy. He's so cute. All right, let's see what I find. It's so interesting seeing her in earthbending attire with short hair. She looks very different. I feel great. Come on, I want to show you how much better I'm doing. Oh, so maybe it was maybe it was Earth she was having a tough time with then. Maybe like fire and water maybe came back. Attack! I can take it. Oh, they didn't want to attack her. Oh, she had a flashback. I thought I was ready. There is no shame in taking the time you need to make a full recovery. Being the Avatar can wait. There's also no shame in like failing a sparring match either because of PTSD. I know you want to help, but trust me, everyone has this under control. I, th I think that makes her feel worse <laughs> that everybody has it under control. Dear Asami, I'm sorry I haven't written to you sooner, but every time I've tried, I never knew what to say. That's why she's having a tough time with the bending. It's not so much that she can't be as good of a bender. It's she's having visions while she fights that are freaking her out. But sometimes I worry I'll never fully recover. Please don't... don't tell Mako and Bolin I wrote to you and not Aww. them. Aww. Aww. It's easier to tell you about this stuff. Aww. I don't think they'd understand. She has a special relationship with this army, you know. <laughs> I want to go back to Republic City. I need to be where the action is. Where my friends are. I'll have the White Lotus prepare a boat. And they can take you back to Republic City as soon as No. I want to go alone. She wants to go alone because she doesn't really want to go to Republic City. 
Oh no, God. probably like, Mom, what the f***? <laughs> you can't take me? To be fair, everyone would know she's the avatar if Naga is there. I like seeing her struggle with this mental health stuff, but also I wonder, like it's clearly not all in her head if that dog is actually noticing that ghost. Maybe a spirit is attacking her? My wall of avatars? Ah! I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah, you gotta, come on! You gotta do that, that's so cute! Thieves, get back here! Oh no. Oh, don't worry, the avatar's right here! Oh no. Oh no, she's gonna have a hard time. Oh no! This is why she chopped off her hair, huh? Oh, She's just throwing him away in the water? Babe, listen, I know you're going through a tough time, but leave no trace, okay? Oh, this is like Mulan. This is like poetic. Wow. Oh, she's like leaving a part of herself behind, you know? Oh boy. I thought she was following the dog. I am ending this. Maybe that's precisely what you need to do is follow it. In there? Where she was fighting? Oh, this is how she got involved with this. I see, we're still in the past. Okay. Hurry up in there! Ooh! The editing paired with the music for this is so like beautiful. Bring me to the swamp. Oh my god! Is this that forest that Aang went to? Where you like face your Oh Wait, I met you with the tree of time. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. What am I gonna find in the swamp? Not a what, a who. A who. I forgot what was it, what was the what this swamp was called, but it's like that. Oh yeah, it's like where they face you face your fears, right? Like didn't Katara see her mom here, and I think Aang saw Toph here, right? You're not real. I think she's real. Yeah! Oh, she real? Why is she fighting with you? What is going on? You can't run, you can't fight. What is she supposed to do? Oh, it the, is that like the poison? Holy uh, 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 I think you gotta go, babe. I think it's part of the process. Whoa, where is she? Feeling better? Where am I? What happened? I was hoping you could tell me. I, I, I recognize the voice and I know I'm supposed to know who this is. You recognize me? In a manner of speaking. We were good friends in your previous life. Is it Toph? I can't believe it. Oh my God. Nice to see you again, Twinkle Toes. Oh my God. I can't, I can't, I can't. Are they just trying to emotionally manipulate me with with the music? Like, I'm like, I'm a mess. Wow, everybody's alive, but Aang, it's so sad. <laughs> You're not gonna train me? Well, I was planning on soaking my feet in mud for a few weeks. But I can't stand you being so pathetic and getting your butt kicked all the time. Of course, she likes, she, she's a natural trainer. She loved training Thank Twinkle you. Toes. No, uh, uh, no hugs. Want to hug something, go hug a tree. I miss Toph. Oh my God. I love how she's the exact same. Like Katara feels kind of different, you know, but like Toph's personality feels this same. Squirrel frog. I forgot about all the weird hybrid type animals that exist in this. I was thinking that you were gonna- Exactly. You were thinking. Universe. No thinking. Only feeling and seeing. No thinking. She makes it look so effortless. Pathetic. Of all the avatars I've worked with, you're by far the worst. She used to be better, to be honest. One other avatar, but still. Oh, she only worked with, oh, <laughs> she's so just worse than Aang, okay. What made you want to drop out and disconnect from the rest of the world? I'm more connected to the world than you've ever been. She's so competitive. They run all over the world. Mm. I can see Sue and Lynn. Wow. But you don't want to be close to them, huh? You don't want to have a relationship with them. You're blind compared to me. 
True. <laughs> Although she tried. That was so funny. For your service to the realm, I would like to present you with the Kiyoshi Medal of Freedom. Freedom. She's a liberator, you know? And if you don't mind, I'd like to say a few words. Uh-oh. Growing up in Zhao Fu with Su Yin Bei Fong, I learned that the idea of a royal family passing a title from one generation to the next was archaic. Uh-huh. It was the pathetic rule of kings and queens that caused the Earth Kingdom to descend into such incredible disarray. And there's no way I will allow it to slip back into the Dark Ages. Uh-oh. I'd like to make an announcement to the world. I have created a new Earth Empire, and I will continue to lead it into the future myself. She making a bold announcement, like, she, she would just get arrested in this scenario for, like, treason, except, oh god, now Bolin's, like, worried. Yeah, Bolin. You've been blind. Anyone who crosses our borders or stands in our way will be crushed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Worst coronation ever. Uh-oh. I mean, listen, this guy's a f clown. I wouldn't want him as a king either. I do think it's archaic. I think it should be a bit more of a democracy here, more voting involved. But what Kuvir is doing is just another dictatorship. It's just more oppression. She has been helping people, but she's also been threatening them and forcing them to join her. I'm just not sure about this whole empire thing. It seems pretty aggressive. Yeah. And what was that part about the crushing? That was just some tough rhetoric to let people know that we mean business. Mm-hmm. Will you help me make history, Bolin? Oh my God. I'll stand by you. He's definitely... We need to talk. Oh. He's being a little naive, but also he's having doubts. So it's not like he's being totally oblivious. I think he'll stand up to Kavira eventually, but I think it's good that he's continuing to work with her right now. Tell your world leaders to stay out of Earth Empire business. We won't accept their hand-picked dictator. Ooh. What makes you so different? You're just another tyrant. Yeah. I know what happens to cities who don't want to hand over control to you. Then you know what's coming for Zhao Fu. She just, oh. You would destroy your fiance's home? To overtake, or destroy your fiance's mother to overtake it? Your potential mother-in-law, you would attack her? I wonder if she's even in love with her son or if she just decided to like get engaged to her son as like a tactic to see if that would make Sue give in, you know? It's like I'm a step slower. I'm tentative, I'm out of sync. I just can't get back in the groove. Probably carrying around that metal doesn't help. In her body. The little bits of metal poison stuck in your body. Are you trying to tell me you can't feel metal in your own body? Even though she's a metal bender, she still can't feel it. Oh, my girls never really picked up metal bending all that well, if you ask me. Oh, she's just so hard on her kids. I gotta get it out. You can get it out for me, right? Who do you think you're talking to? Hmm? <sighs> I love how she waits all day to tell her. She just lets her get her ass beat all day long before telling her this. Do you really want to be the king? I mean, Kuvira might be a power-crazed dictator, but at least she spent the last few years working hard to make the Earth- Right, what have you done, dude? What have you ever done for your people? Oh, I'm sorry, that was out of line. It's really not. No one ever talked to me like that before. Damn. Oh my God, they followed. Let's get you they out followed you. to someplace safe. Carry me? No. <laughs> okay, maybe this guy will become more likable. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're going to have to do this yourself. Clearly, you want to keep the metal in there. <laughs> she can't get it out. If you don't get better, you can't do your job, so you don't have to worry about getting hurt again. Uh, what? That's ridiculous. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Whatever. When you want it out, you can bend it out. Honestly, having Toph as a mother would be so f difficult. Like, she's so tough. It would be, and her name is even a play on how tough she is, but it would be awful to have her as a mom, but she's a great mentor for what Cora needs in this moment, you know? You three to bring Cora home? You can count on one of us. I don't know about these two ladies. Oh my god. He's just gonna send his kids out to go find Cora by themselves. That's crazy. That's, a, that's some growth from Tenzin, trusting his kids. From now on, developing this technology is your number one priority. This is going to change Oh everything. God, what? What is he doing? Good luck, and be careful. 
Remember, Janor is in charge. Yeah, of course she's in charge. I answer to no man or girl. Oh God. I'd be like, Milo, you're not going. <laughs> you answer to no man? Okay, you're staying home. <laughs> what about the time you guys took down the Fire Lord? That must've been epic. It was hot. I was on a blimp and I think a giant turtle showed up. <laughs> wow. What a day. I love how she's just over it. She doesn't want to tell the stories anymore. But it's great because we as the audience have seen it, so we don't need to hear it either. My name's Milo. I like to throw away food and fart at inappropriate moments. I'm Janora. I'm so above it all because I'm meditating. This poor typical middle child syndrome here. Wait! You dropped your breakfast! Oh God, I love how she tried to follow the flying squirrel. She's like, wait, you're my spirit animal, come back. Does this mean we're friends? Everyone's gonna have a pet. Oh, some deforestation. She almost got away. I've been traveling with my brother and sister. It's our first big mission and my dad Tenzin is counting on us. But if we don't find the avatar, he's gonna be- really Oh my God, she didn't even need to be tortured. Where are your brother and sister? cares? I don't want to see them. Ah! I'd hang out here with you guys. <laughs> this is great. She's like, I don't want to even go see them. <laughs> you don't need to see my brother and sister. Let's just hang out. <laughs> oh, she having nightmares of her past. It's like, man, going on a journey through the swamp is like a great way for her to relive all of her past traumas and deal with stuff that she's been avoiding dealing with, you know? Where have you looked for? We've been traveling down the- She got out of the ropes easy. What about this place? Oh, that's the swamp. No one goes there. Don't get discouraged, Iki. You're a valuable member of the team and you have a big heart. I know you're gonna find her. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. 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 Sorry my brother and sister knocked you out. Nice chatting with you. Oh. Macaroon. Oh, the squirrel's not coming. Oh, the squirrel is coming. Yay. Great. More pets. I wonder if they're going to actually go to the swamp. This swamp, it did crazy things to my mind. I had visions. Yeah, I wonder how Toph handles living here. Yeah, I figured something like that might happen. What? You wanted me to see those visions? You were one twisted old lady, you know that? You need it to heal. Come on. You can't expect to deal with future enemies if you're still fighting the old ones. Maybe you're right, but how am I supposed to move on? Boy, you avatars sure need a lot of hand-holding. <laughs> they really do. They really do. <laughs> They're <f> helpless. <laughs> oh, God, Toph, I missed you. <laughs> Great! That's great, the same thing happened to them that happened to Aang and the gang. The swamp is like, nope, you need to be here, come back. <laughs> That's kind of what I hope would happen. Oh, she can see the kids now. Cora. I know where Cora is. I saw Janora, Iki, and Milo, they're here. Good, hopefully they're here to take you home. <laughs> Good, get the f out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. Cranky? Old? Blind? You must be tough. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, it makes sense that you guys would like each other. <laughs> Please, Cora. The world needs you back. Is she gonna try to remove the metal from her body again? Or, let's see. All right. I'm ready. She's gonna try to let Toph do it. it out of you. Oh. You gotta do this on your own. Hell yeah, hell yeah. This is exactly what Cora needed, I love it. Close your eyes, clear your mind, and don't freak out like last time. <laughs> She's really been taught by all of the same people that taught Aang, you know? And plus other people, but she even got to be taught by Iroh in the spirit world. Ooh, ew. Oh, she's containing it. Well done, Cora. Hey, look at that. It makes sense that with this being the problem, like metal still being in her system, that Toph would be the one that needed to help her, you know? I'd like to give you a hug now, if that's okay with you. All right, you earned it. 
Aww. <laughs> oh my god. But I truly, I understand why Beifong is the way she is. I would, it'd be so difficult to have this woman as your mother. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. <sighs> She's like, that's the only reason I helped you. So you would shut up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love her. Okay, that was cute. That was a really cute episode. I'm so glad we got to reconnect with that character. 